Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to give you a quick update what happened the last couple of months on the Cycraft server. Quick spoiler, we're gonna update soon and this time for real. So let's have a quick look around here, the main storage, to see what's new. The last time I talked about updating, we said it's probably gonna be around March because we gave up hope that we would finally actually get some very rare and interesting items in survival. Um, so we are sticking actually in Mopa 12 a little bit longer for more than a year already because people came up with a series that would allow us to get end portal frames that you can see here. Uh, this would allow us to make end portals wherever we want, which is really powerful. Um, so we kind of gave up hope, said, okay, probably doesn't make sense to stick in 1.12 any longer. Let's go to the latest version. I think back then it was 1.18 and enjoy all the new aspects of the game. But, so often how it goes, people quickly after I made my announcement video made progress on yeah the series to get those items. And in the last couple of weeks, we finally also yeah, got all those rare items. Um, those were all gotten completely in survival. So we didn't just go to creative mode uh, and, and yeah, cheated those in. So we just got those items by placing blocks and interacting with the game. Um, so of course we're using carpet mod on the server, but it's more some convenience features. Uh, you could have done it completely vanilla. People also were still playing a little bit survival on the server, but most of the time was mostly spent on making more map art. Um, let's have a look around. Definitely a lot of effort needs to go into making those map arts, but the effort was definitely worth it. Um, Jorge, I think I commissioned for this one here, so that's the excuse for that. <laughs> People paid for that. <laughs> but some of the other ones, I think yeah, they fit really nicely. Plan is also at some point to make a nice museum for some of those. This one here, Fox spent, I think, over 100 hours on. All right, so let's quickly check out some of the forbidden items we've obtained. Do you even remember this one here? It's called a structure void. And to be honest, I've completely forgotten again what this is even used for. I remember I covered this in a snapshot at some point, but it's, I think it's just some technical block um, related to structures. So it's not even in the creative menu, can, yeah, but you can still get it uh, with the tricks we used. Then on top we got a barrier block, all the command blocks, which of course you um, can't use. So you can't like just write in the command blocks uh, in survival. You probably know this from your creative world. So they are of no use to us, but of course we could use them as a wizard cage, just like bedrock. Um, or yeah, it's just an item that is hard to remove. Then, yeah, the skeleton skulls, we already got another trick earlier. The bottom, I think those are the petrified wooden slabs, just a, a relic from the past. Uh, I think they also rendered in this weird non-defined purple and black item. Probably have seen this block before. Um, then this is the, the most interesting one, and that's the one we got first, because there's the most you can do with it, end portal frames. So we can place them down in the usual end portal shape and get our own end portals by placing eyes of end in it everywhere we want. So that's of course interesting for traveling, and lots of things can be done. Mobs could be all sent uh, to one single place in the end quite easily, and stuff like that. There's a lot you can do with it. Then this is just a technicality shrub. It's the same as the dead bush. Um, I think those will also be converted when we update to dead bushes because we got removed from the game. Spawners. Unfortunately, we can only get pig spawners. This is like the default spawner. If you place down the spawner, um, we don't have access to spawn eggs. There's also no theory inside how we could get those. And if we could get those somehow, then we could basically do everything in the game. So this would require an exploit so large that, well, we can basically do everything at that point. But since there's nothing inside right now, um, we're gonna still update. And here we also got structure blocks. Player heads was the last thing we got. Here we have stone monster eggs or the silverfish blocks. And this is a chorus plant. You couldn't get that as well, even with silk touch. 
There's also still one final project ongoing. Sky is currently removing a bedrock using dragon eggs. So we had this goal of getting a double chest of each item. And at this point, the only thing that is missing are um, creeper and zombie heads, which you can get, of course, with the charged creeper mechanic. And well, people kind of lost interest in actually doing that last second we decided okay we're gonna do it we're gonna use rng manipulation to force generate lightning um to quickly yeah obtain the last double chest of, of heads apart from that we got a double chest of each item and even those uh items you couldn't normally get in survival but apart from that when this is done then there's nothing left to do in 1.12 we reached all of our goals that we had Apart from that, we're gonna continue with our original plan of abandoning the 1.12 stuff and start over in a new area of the server that will be roughly 50 to 100,000 blocks away from 00, zero and just start completely from scratch. So with no of the items we've gotten so far, we're gonna just keep them here. Of course, some exceptions will be allowed. So in case there is some insanely cool project we wanna do it in 1.19, we can also then go back and maybe get some end portal frames because they were just so cool um some of the forbidden items mostly but we're not gonna go back to the main storage and get gunpowder because we can just make a new farm uh the reason why we just want to start over is that so much of the old stuff is broken and there's really no interest in basically removing the old farms and building new ones instead um, so it's just more fun to start over from scratch, especially for the players that later joined the server. Another really cool reason why to go back to this area would be moving water sources from the old nether to the new nether area. We actually got water in the nether in 1.12, so there's still a reason to watch the upcoming server tour. That's something that will be shown as well. So we can spread the water and you could also make, for example, in 1.13 above, Water lock blocks that can be moved to flying machines so we can transport the water to somewhere else. So there's some really cool stuff we can do now. Of course, we're gonna mostly stick to playing a normal game so it stays relatable. We're not gonna use water in the nether for everything, but for some projects, I think this would be a quite fun thing to do. All right, so when are we gonna update now? Um, next week, a lot of us Cycroft is actually meeting up in real life. People from all over the world, Canada, Israel, United States, Norway, France, Austria, all gonna come to Germany. We're gonna first visit Methods' place and his brewery, and then we're gonna meet Doc M, have a barbecue at his place, and then some of us are gonna even go to Cologne to the IEM Cologne CSGO tournament, because a lot of us uh, Sidecrafters also enjoy playing CSGO, and we're all friends, and yeah, the CSGO tournament is definitely something a lot of people are interested in. So it wouldn't make sense to update right now because half the server would not be able to play. So we're gonna update in three weeks. That's also the weekend when we're gonna record the last big 1.12 server tour. Also in between, I'm gonna release one more Cycroft episode. We got a really interesting project that will also be done in preparation for the future versions. Definitely worth watching. Also, we'd really like to keep the server up to date in case it's 1.20, we wanna update to that. But of course, this decision will be made for each update. Um, so the plan is actually to go to 1.14 first to get the OP armor. That's something a lot of people have shown interest in to get and then update straight away to 1.18 or 1.19. So there's some discontinued items you could technically get in the versions in between, but nothing that really sparks our interest. Um, it's also not clear if I'm gonna update to 118 or 119. I would be in favor of 119, but yeah, we have to see if the yeah, game runs stable and all of that. And after that, yeah, we have to see if the reason why we didn't update 1.13, for example, was that a lot of the things we liked got removed in 1.13 and not much we liked got added. So this was something that caused us to stay in 1.12. Something similar would happen again, that a lot of the cool features we use would get removed and not much gets added in return then yeah, we have to see each time. But apart from that, we'd like to keep the server always up to date if possible. Yeah, there's for example also the controversy right now in 1.19.1 with this chat reporting system that is super unpopular and literally nobody I talked to was in favor of. Um, so yeah, we have to see and hope that there's always gonna be a reason to update. 
All right, so that's all the relevant info now for the Psycraft update. If you got one more minute, I'm also gonna talk about uh, stuff regarding my channel, like the Peaceful and Four Before challenge. So there will be one more Peaceful episode that we already recorded a couple of weeks ago, which will be the final episode and will be released this Tuesday. Then Four Before challenge, I'm not sure if I'm gonna release more episodes. Kinda didn't really go as planned in the end. I got five episodes already pre-recorded that I might release. Maybe let me know if you want to see that even, but we definitely don't intend to play yeah, any more after that. So the focus will be definitely on one single survival server from now on, which of course will be the Psycraft server. Uh, I would say definitely there's not going to be any spin-off projects for the next year, but eventually I would also like to play Skyblock again, or I would be interested in playing a flat world, stuff like that. But at least for the next year, yeah, there's probably nothing like that planned. All right, so I hope this answers all your questions you had regarding Psycraft. By the way, I'm also going to stream on Twitch again once we play survival on the Psycraft server again. I haven't been streaming the last couple of months. All right, thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.